Hey guys, we're here today in the Cordage Heritage District and we're going to go inside Imperfect Activity Room and talk to the owner, Victoria, and see what she's all about. So let's go check her out. Hey guys, we're here today at the Imperfect Activity Room and we are joined by the owner, Victoria. Hey Victoria, how are you doing today? I'm good, how about yourself? I'm doing great, thank you. So tell us a little bit more about uh, your, your business here and what you guys do and uh, yeah, tell us some more. So we're all about kids' activities. Uh, Primarily for ages zero to six. It's great for moms who are home with kids that aren't in school just yet, so you can come by anytime during the day. We do open play where it's the same kind of thing each week. You just exercise equipment and trampolines and you just come and have fun. We also have theme days. We just had fire truck day, uh, bubble day. So we have super themes and you guys just come and you have fun. You make a mess. Mm -hmm. It's about water being everywhere. It's about glue. It's about paint. It's about sensory. So it's great for kids of all ages because you know you get the motor skills. Mm -hmm. You get to get messy and you get to the quiet time with your kids. Sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, so you said you have different themes. Uh, do you have any events coming up that uh, people should know about? So this week it's coming super fast, but we have. Kindergarten graduation day. Mm -hmm. Schools aren't doing it anymore. They've cut it all out. So we have cabin gown pictures. Mm -hmm. So they look all cute and uh, we decorate cupcakes and stuff. Mm -hmm. On Friday, we won't be here, but we will be at Lions Park to do Canada Day. Okay. Again, full of themes, full of sensory. Um, and we haven't told anybody else just yet, but we are opening up for birthday parties and day camps this summer for all the parents that weren't able to get their spot this year. Yeah, I noticed that you had a, a summer camp for the kids. Is there any activities you guys have planned for them? Or? So every week is a different theme because I love themes. So, so far in July we have camping theme, messy art theme, which is my favorite, and uh, dinosaur theme. Themed week, so every day is about dinosaurs or camping. We're going to make s'mores. Who's going to make s'mores? Yeah. So yeah, come check it out. Awesome. Now, now that we know a little bit about your business, let's find more about uh, Victoria. So how long have you lived in Bedford? Let's, let's tell us about your story. So I've been here like 20 years now, Nathan, Nathan, <laughs> Nathan. So I've been here almost 20 years now. Uh, feels like yesterday. <laughs> and now look where we are. Um, for that 20 years, I was actually a house major. I did a lot of construction and renovations and just before COVID, I had a shoulder injury that had me off work for a while. And in that time I had a son, mm -hmm. which put me in a whole new world of everything. And because I'm always out of town, there wasn't a whole lot of friends, a lot of mom groups. So I actually started a local mom group on Facebook. Mm -hmm. It's called Let's Get Together Brantford, Mom Edition. Um, and the whole purpose was community. I'm mm -hmm. all about community and supporting it. So I was trying to get moms and kids together. Through all of that, we've made some amazing connections, but I've also come to find there wasn't a whole lot for kids to do. Mm -hmm. And if there was, they book up in about two minutes. Yeah. So um, because of COVID, because of me not being able to work, I just thought it was a good time to make a change. Mm -hmm. And uh, so the wheel started with an activity center for kids. And we finally, Pulled the plug and did it. So we've signed our lease last year in April. So we've actually been here just over a year. Mm -hmm. um, we had to stay closed because of COVID and all their restrictions and stuff. Mm -hmm. We weren't able to open. So we've been open since February. And now we're just trying to pump out as many activities as we can. Yeah, that's awesome. So now that we've heard your story, uh, is there anything in and around Brantford that you recommend uh, anybody that's new to the city or maybe someone that's been around for a while that they go uh, check out maybe something that you and your son enjoy going and doing? We actually, I actually have two because there's one that's been around for a while, but mm -hmm. they are the most amazing community support that I've ever seen. It's Little Brown Cow. Mm -hmm. It's just down off of, um, through Eagle Place. Yep. Um, they're all local, they support local, they shop local. And what's amazing for all the kids mm -hmm. is you can go back and pet their cows. So mm -hmm. you can visit the farm life and the kids absolutely love it. Um, but if you want to stay right in town and need a little bit of date night with your kids, uh, I tried out 519 ice cream and more. 
last weekend, the Right On Moon Clarets, and they are fantastic too. All kinds of themed ice creams and deep fried items. Who doesn't want deep fried Oreos? Yeah. Right? Um, yeah, so it was it's super convenient. The prices are fantastic, and who doesn't want to get over ice cream? That's awesome. Yeah, that sounds delicious. I'll have to check it out. Okay, well, thanks for joining us today and telling us all the fun things here to do at the Imperfect Activity Room. Guys, down in the description below is going to be all of her social media links, so be sure to follow her, join her groups, have your kids get involved, and get out and enjoy everything that they have planned here. Join their summer camps, and uh, be sure we'll catch you next time, okay? Bye. If you liked that video, you're going to want to watch this video right here where I interview another local business here in Brantford. So I'll see you in the next video.